And this is the Music History Today podcast for July 28th. On today's show, Mat the Hoople debuts their biggest hits, two popular artists debut on the same exact day, and Summer Jam takes place. First up, though, on this date in 1933, the first singing telegram occurred. It was sent to Rudy Valley, who was celebrating his birthday that day. In 1939, Over the Rainbow, the song was recorded by Judy Garland. In 1951, the Disney animated musical film Alice in Wonderland premiered. In 1954, the Memphis Press Skimeter newspaper published Elvis Presley's first interview. In 1956, Gene Vincent did his first major television appearance. It was on the Perry Como show. In 1957, Jerry Lee Lewis made his television debut. It was on the Steve Allen show. In 1964, entertainer Ethel Merman divorced actor Ernest Borgnine after being married for only 32 days. In Hollywood terms, that's probably like seven years. In 1970, Mick Jagger acted in the film Ned Kelly. In 1973, the Summer Jam concert with the Grateful Dead, the Allman Brothers Band, and the band took place. In 1978, the Summer Jam Rock Festival in Watkins Glen, New York started. In 1987, Ice-T, better known these days for being on Law & Order Special Victims Unit, became the first artist to have a parental advisory sticker put on an album. The album was his for the album title, Rhyme Pays. Go figure. Not for Body Count, at least as of that point, which is his thrash metal group. In 1992, Prince trademarked his male-female symbol that he was using. In 1993, the 10,000 Maniacs performed on stage with Natalie Merchant for the last time. In 1993, same day, Roger Waters of Pink Floyd married his wife, Priscilla Phillips. In 1995, a court reinstated Jimi Hendrix's father as the rightful owner of Jimi's trademark after battling various people and companies who had been trying to claim Jimi's likeness for merchandising purposes. In 1999, the band Car Park North was formed, and in 2020, the great British magazine Q published for the last time. In classical music, in 1954, Ernest Bach's piece, The Fourth String Quartet, premiered. In theater, in 1920, the musical Poor Little Ritz Girl opened on Broadway. In 1951, the musical Kiss Me Kate closed on Broadway, and in 1991, the musical Gypsy closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on July 28th, in 2014, Linda Ronstant received the American National Medal of Arts. Albums that were released on July 28th in the UK include in 1972 when Harry Nilsson released Son of Schmilson, and in 1986, UB40 released Rat in the Kitchen. Meanwhile, in America in 1965, John Coltrane released Live in Paris. In 1975, Black Sabbath released Sabotage. In 1979, Rainbow released Down to Earth. In 1980, Zap released their self-titled album. In 1986, R.E.M. released Life's Rich Pageant. In 1989, the... Our album The Bridge, a tribute to Neil Young, a compilation album, was released. In 1992, The Bare Naked Ladies released Gordon. Mary J. Blige made her debut with her album What's the 411? And Morrissey released Your Arsenal. In 1997, Company Flow released Fun Crusher Plus. In 1998, Mary J. Blige was added again. This time, she released The Tour. Also in 1998, Tommy Two-Tone released Two-Tone.RTF. Singles that were released on July 28th in the UK include in 1972 when Mat the Hoopo released their classic All the Young Dudes, which was written by David Bowie. That song would later debut in America on September 8th. Meanwhile, speaking of America, in 1958, the Everly Brothers released a twofer. They did Bird Dog and Devoted to You. 
1965, Bob Dylan released his classic Like Rolling Stone. In 1969, Grand Funk Railroad released Time Machine. In 1971, The Hollies released Tate Willie and George Harrison released Bangladesh. In 1976, Kiss did a twofer. They released Beth and Detroit Rock City, two classics. In 1979, Michael Jackson released Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. In 1983, Billy Joel released Tell Her About It. In 1986, Janet Jackson released When I Think of You. And in 1988, John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar Mellencamp, released Rayvon. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 28th include rapper Soldier Boy, Jacoby Shaddix of Papa Roach, singer Rachel Sweet, Steve Morse of Deep Purple, Simon Kirk of Bad Company, Peter Doyle of The New Seekers, singer Jonathan Edwards, Rick Wright of Pink Floyd, guitarist Mike Bloomfield, George Cummings of Dr. Hook, songwriter Irving Burgey, guitarist Vinnie Bell, Gerald Casal of Devo, Drummer Steve Peregrine Took of T-Rex, singer Rudy Valley, the aforementioned Rudy Valley with the singing telegram. Accordionist Frankie Yankovic, who is not related to Weird Al Yankovic. Pianist Peter Duchens, Shauna Hall of the group Four Non Blondes, Brad Simpson of the Vamps, singer Cher Lloyd, rapper Miro, Nicholas Matthews of the group Get Scared, Rapper Afro Man, singer Reagan Strange, singer Verlen Garcia, blues artist Junior Kimbrough, bassist Jim Hugart, conductor Ricardo Muti, jazz singer Nana Freelon, bassist Gerald Veasley, guitarist Greg Geoffria of Geoffria and also House of Lords, drummer Dan Wharton of Ned's Atomic Dust Bend, a great band. Trumpet player Michael Gassman, keyboardist Tex Axile, bassist Taka Hiroshi of the group Feeder, guitarist Michael Amet of Arch Enemy and also the group Spiritual Beggars, entertainer extraordinaire Mr. Stephen Lynch, singer and actress Leonore Watlings, singer Birgitta Hogdell, singer Lee Min Woo of the group Shenhua. Singer Noel Sullivan of Hearsay. Singer Augusta Ava Erlendotter. Saxophonist and clarinetist Jim Galloway. And composer Carmen Dragon. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 28th include composer John Amner, who passed away in 1641 at the age of 61. Composer Antonio Vivaldi passed away in 1741 at the age of 63. Composer extraordinaire, Mr. Johann Sebastian Bach. Ah, Bach. Passed away in 1750 at the age of 65. Vivaldi and Bach, two legends. Composer Arvid Hopkin passed away in 1778 at the age of 68. Composer Giuseppe Sarti passed away in 1802 at the age of 72. Composer John Ross passed away in 1837 at the age of 73. Composer Bernard Crusoe passed away in 1838 at the age of 62. Composer Stefano Pavesi passed away in 1850 at the age of 71. Composer Richard Olson passed away in 1940 at the age of 66. Pianist Eddie Costa passed away in 1962 at the age of 31. Composer Maurice Vane passed away in 1965 at the age of 74. 
Organist Ernst Tittle passed away in 1969 at the age of 59. Broadway composer Frank H. Lusser passed away in 1969 at the age of 59. Composer Gabrielle von Weyditch passed away in 1969 at the age of 80. Opera soprano Helen Trowell passed away in 1972 at the age of 73. Singer and actress Lucy Mannheim passed away in 1976 at the age of 77. Band leader Charles Shadwell passed away in 1979 at the age of 81. Composer Herbert Rabin passed away in 1979 at the age of 57. Composer Cecil Burley passed away in 1980 at the age of 95. Composer George Kleinsinger passed away in 1982 at the age of 68. Singer Keith Green passed away in a plane crash in 1982 at the age of 28. Composer Ati Sonnenen passed away in 1984 at the age of 70. Exiled Chilean singer Luis Munoz passed away in 1991 at the age of 45. Guitarist Eddie Hinton passed away in 1995 at the age of 51. Fashion designer and musician Harold Fox passed away in 1996 at the age of 86. Marge Ganser of the group The Shangri-Las passed away in 1996 at the age of 48. Composer Rudolf Halazinski passed away in 1999 at the age of 78. Jerome Smith of Casey and the Sunshine Band passed away in a construction accident in 2000 at the age of 47. Composer Glenn Glasso passed away in 2002 at the age of 78. George Williams of the group The Times passed away in 2004 at the age of 68. Singer and actress Susan Taman was murdered in her apartment in Dubai in 2008 at the age of 30. Composer Peter Tahorden passed away in 2009 at the age of 80. Jazz singer Rita Reyes passed away in 2013 at the age of 88. Leonard Cohen's muse in the song So Long, Marianne. Marianne Elin passed away in 2016 at the age of 81. Pianist Bent Fabric passed away in 2020 at the age of 95. Salsa and merengue band leader Johnny Ventura passed away in 2021 at the age of 81. Bassist Dusty Hill of ZZ Top passed away in 2021 at the age of 72. Composer Ruben Radica passed away in 2021 at the age of 90. And singer and actor Bernard Cribbins passed away in 2022 at the age of 93. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 29th when, in 1966, the supergroup Cream debuted. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jameritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. 